Welcome back my friends, welcome back. Scotty the Trucker coming to you from a uh, rest stop in Virginia. A little south of Richmond, close to my home. And I thought, why don't we do lunch, YouTube? It's a beautiful day. Still kind of warm, feels more like spring. So, why don't you come along? Well, got myself a little picnic, picnic lunch today. So, so you guys tell me, how in the world is truck stop life better than rest stops, rest stop life? I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, not to say you can't have a little fun at rest stops. I like, I mean, at uh, truck stops too. But, uh, man, you stay here, you feel like staying at a park. So. This one's pretty cool. Which one to choose? You guessed it. One furthest away from people. <laughs> That's me. Looks like they all need a little cleaning off. So. Alright guys, I'll be right with you. Alright, I'm back here. Let's see what we got. Wrapped up some bread. A couple sandwiches. A paper plate. String cheese. Roast beef and my sauce, horseradish. Kind of like it's the same thing as the horsey sauce that you get at Arby's. I put it on everything. Love it. All right. So anyway, you're gonna watch me fix and eat my lunch. Now that is some exciting YouTube stuff right there. Um, as far as a topic. Well, I have an idea. <laughs> I might go there, I might not, I don't know, we'll see. But before I get to that idea, I uh, wanted to um, just kind of pat myself on the back. Uh, well, for one thing, I'm in a better mood. <laughs> Things have been going great this week. Knock on wood. I actually can knock on wood. I'm at a wood table. Um, but since the breakdown, uh, you know, Things have been rolling real good. I've been uh, had a real busy week. A lot of loads with some pretty good money on them. Was able to swing by the house for an overnight. Spent the uh, evening, went to Cracker Barrel as I mentioned. So life is good and everything's looking much better. Um, but yeah, it was a little down uh, last week. So um, so one thing I wanted to, so yeah, better mood, things are going good. So I wanted to pat myself on the back a little bit here. As I have told you all, I am not a handy guy by any stretch. It's part of the reason why I'm out trucking is because I, if you look back at my early videos, it's because I, I bought a really old house, like just after the Civil War it was built. And, uh, and I gave the warning, if you are not a handy person, do not ever buy an old ass house like that. Um, because you're going to fall behind and that's kind of a big reason why I'm out here trucking is to get my house into shape enough to sell it and get the hell out of there um, so not handy and things come up when you're trucking you know a lot of little stuff you know do you want to be heading to a TA or a Petro or Loves to get minor stuff worked on you know for one, it's going to be super expensive. It's going to be time-consuming, that kind of thing. But what do you do? You're not uh, you're not handy like me. <laughs> you know, you're not like me. You're not handy. So you know, you YouTube it, and I'm thrilled to say that. And and anybody who's been trucking a while is going to laugh at this because it's absurdly easy things that I've gotten done. But whatever, I'm proud of myself for getting them done. Um, one was a couple weeks ago. Um, I had been hearing this air 
burst um, on my on my tractor. You know, I know it does some adjusting and it'll release air once in a while when it's rolling, but it was doing it when it was off. And I, at the time, I thought it was uh, I thought it was a um, a leaky uh, glad hand. So I checked my glad hands, and indeed, one really really needed it. It was dry rotted and messed up. It didn't end up that was the issue. It didn't end up that there was an issue, but. Still, I looked into doing the glad hand uh, change, you know, it's just a little rubber stopper or whatever. But for someone who's not handy, those of you that are similar will know this, you know, that it's hard to get out of the starting gate when you're like us. You don't want to even touch anything. You know it's going to make it work. But I'm tired of paying through the nose for every little thing that happens and, you know, I want to get rolling trying to fine tune, you know, this trucker life and job. and. Uh, you know, like I said, save money everywhere I can. So I ended up on a Junior Honduras um, episode, and I think he did several years ago. But he takes you through, and it's absurdly easy. And uh, and I did it. Uh, switched the uh, Glad Hand seal on the red, the red Glad Hand, and it works great. Um, the other thing that was a few weeks ago, but today I'm even more proud of myself for an absurdly easy maintenance job. I actually changed. The light bulb of my headlight. Last night I was at a uh, at my receiver. And, you know, again, sorry for watching me. And on the way out, the guy pulling in waved me down, honked at me, and said, "Your headlight's out." I'm like, "Oh my God!" Right. So through the night I was kind of worried I'd get pulled. <laughs> wondering what, how the hell I'm going to handle this. So, once I parked for a bit, <clears throat> watched a video too, and it really did look easy. Except for the fact that it seems like every make and model and year is a little different in how, the, how it's set up. So, I found the Freightliner Cascadia one, and they're all very simple. Anyway, I uh, watched a couple of those and did it. And, uh, like I said, it it is hardly something like this I almost would never have done uh, before trucking you know changing a bulb that's just I'm, I'm not handy you pay people to do that kind of thing but uh, this one is if you can look at it it it's a little different than changing a light bulb on a Christmas tree string <laughs> you know? it's almost nothing to it so I'm really glad that I did it. I mean, I can't imagine, and I know people probably do it all the time, going to TA with a blown headlight. Well, who knows what they charge, 150? I mean, they're, they're gonna charge you through the nose for the part and the labor, even though it's thick. <laughs> you, un, you, you basically take off the cap, quarter turn, pull it out, switch it out, and, and you're done. But how much would that have cost me at a TA? So I'm, I'm very happy with myself. For, uh, I'm gonna try to, take on and I, they, I know Prime does offer a, um, a basic maintenance I haven't taken it yet but I want to one of these times I'm flowing through one of the terminals hmm. pretty good all right so I guess I'll talk about the uh, the topic that I had in mind you know I wanted to kind of turn this channel upbeat had some setbacks and some problems and definitely affected my mood and my outlook but I had put old money away as good lease operators should and I weathered it, it still sucks it's, I'm in the hole pretty deep but with this week I should be out of the hole and next week should be back on track so not worried about it, I'm in good shape um, but I'm trying to I think it's been maybe three or four days ago I was, uh, it was three days, I was in Pittston, two times in three days, three in the Pittston terminal. And uh, the first time was, I was getting my, my ID badge. Um, as you know, I lost three of my cards, pilot, not a big deal. My CDL, I had gone home to get, but my, uh, my I, prime ID, which was the first thing to be sent home, supposedly, never arrived. So I let them know when I got my CDL that the other one hadn't gotten there. And uh, I was asking them if they wanted to resend it or what. And they said, no, just come on up through Pittston and uh, 
we'll, we'll make you one there. So that's what I did. But while I was there, I um, saw a YouTube buddy of mine, <laughs> uh, and I, he, he told me a while back not to endorse his channel. He wasn't ready. He was, uh, it was small. Um, he just, I don't know, he just didn't feel confident in, in his channel yet and wanted to get going a while. But he, he gave me permission to let you know, and I'll, I'll put it in the description here. Uh, below, but uh, his channel is uh, MVP Master J. Now, I met him actually, um, Road Blazer Terry. Uh, you know, I've, if you look way back, um, he's another YouTuber. Um, we were roommates in PSD, and then we were actually at uh, Springfield at the same time uh, for upgrade as well. And he was with me during upgrade, we were in the prime shop. Um, store and uh, this guy walked up to me um, it's like hey man love your videos I don't know it's been a while on this one but he, he was saying that he, he enjoyed my videos and, uh, and we had a nice little ch chat for a while as I recall back then I think he was in TNT I'm getting ready to finish up I think but since then I've been subscribed to his channel and I chat with him in, in comments and and anyway I uh, I call that a friendship out here, so that's the topic, and it's something that I think I can make um, as another positive for coming, if you choose to do this as your means of getting out of your lifestyle, your life rut, um, this is another positive. Um, if you were like me, back when um, things were rough, before trucking, you know, very rough. Um, I think when you're in financial trouble and whatever, you know, health trouble and you just, you know, I've mentioned you know, as soon as your head hits the pillow at night, the, uh, the demon thoughts come through, <laughs> meaning, you know, just everything that's wrong, you know, just you cycle through it and uh, have difficulty sleeping. You know, that was me most nights. Um, but when you're in that kind of life situation, um, at least for me, you, you feel like you don't have time for much else. You know, you, you put the happy face on, and you leave home, you, you do your work thing, you come home, put the happy face on, and spend a few hours with your family, and you go to bed. At least for me, friendships kind of went by the wayside, uh, on purpose almost. You know, you're just not in the mood, and uh, don't feel like you have the time. It's just put your head down and get through life. Uh, that was kind of the reason why one of the big reasons I came to trucking. So, you know, before this YouTube channel and trucking, you now I, I, in my lifetime I've had many, many friends, you know, high school and college, but I, I let them kind of drift away, uh, unfortunately, um, since college. You know, I just, you know, when you're just in the wrong mindset and just struggling, at least for me, it was uh, difficult to maintain those friendships. So I had my family and I had work. And you had sleep. You know, that's basically was my life. But I can say in trucking, something that I've noticed, and well, now, and I, I'm, it's not lost on me that I have a YouTube channel, and that makes this easier. It really does. But I've noticed, though, there are people that you bump into five minutes at a time. You tend to build friendships very quickly in trucking and especially in the YouTube community with discord and comments and things like that and again with a YouTube channel it makes it easy because people come up to you <laughs> and uh, so the effort is a little less but it, I've still noticed it with people I've come across that uh, don't have any idea that I have a, a YouTube channel I've just noticed that, that you kind of meet with a common bond, you know, you, you, you this is a crazy lifestyle, and uh, when you are interacting with someone new who's in that lifestyle, you meet at a level where you both have at least an understanding of what the other person's life is like, and uh, at least I've found it very easy uh, to kind of strike up conversations and, and have a very friendly um back and forth with people even if it's like five minutes or whatnot so anyway that's what I wanted to talk about was that 
Um, just another perk, I think. If, if you were like me, maybe people aren't like me, but you know, when you're struggling and all that, I, you know, for whatever reason, you know, you just don't feel <laughs> like socializing a whole lot, especially when you're you're already a an introvert. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's something that's been pretty great. You know, you you see someone for five minutes, and you strike up a great conversation, and it feels not just friendly, but like a friendship. You know, it's like you get to that point much quicker. I don't know if because both sides know this may be the last time you see each other for a long, long time, and uh, and you you kind of hope to see each other out in the in the world sometime. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. And it, it's been an added perk that I did not expect through the channel or through trucking. But you know, I've got you know a not a huge group, but a, a good group of. Of folks that I've come across, a lot of them are YouTubers um, uh, that I would call friends, and I look forward to seeing them again. You know, uh, some of which, you know, Peruvian trucker, um, and uh, at the time his trainer, uh, Truck Money BG, who I owe a meal to. He he took us out to uh, Bennigan's, I think it was, um, uh, when we were uh, go up for upgrade. Um, had a great meal. Um, I'm in a lot of contact with uh, Peruvian trucker. He he and I, uh, we text each other and comment on each other's videos. And uh, two really great guys. Uh, the guy I was just mentioning that I bumped into at Pittston, um, uh, uh, MVP Master J. Sorry, I know him. I, I call him J, but this, his channel is uh, MVP Master J. If you do watch all my videos, I did mention him. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, uh, endorse his channel because he told me not to. But uh, back in the there was a home time trip that I took with my youngest daughter Savannah in the mountains and I mentioned that Jay, I don't know if I said MVP Master Jay, but um, they both, my daughter and he are way into uh, into um, anime and uh, so I was making that connection and, and I've since talked to him and at Pittston I was telling him that uh, my daughter has got me um, way deep into one of the anime. I didn't think I would like it but uh, I, she had me watch uh, she wanted me to just, you know, I told her I'd watch a few episodes, so we have something in common to talk about, you know, you know, I, I have downtime and I can watch it, but I wasn't expecting to be completely hooked, uh, it's called Haiku, and, uh, it's a, it's a anime about a volleyball team, and I'm hooked, I really enjoy it, but anyway, we, I was talking to MVP Master J, he always wears anime t-shirts and things, and anyway, something pretty cool, so it was really cool to see him, um, uh, a few minutes before uh, sitting down with him, um, just another shout out, a guy named Richard uh, came up to me and was saying, hey, I just want to let you, he's like, I'm sorry, I know you're eating your dinner, but uh, I wanted to tell you uh, you were an inspiration, I really enjoyed, I watched your videos, uh, kind of getting prepared to come out to Prime, he mentioned that he used my uh, What to Bring to Prime video, which is about a year ago, right now, I would say, that was about a year ago. Um, so going way back, and uh, one thing that was funny with him, he was, this was a younger gentleman, and whenever you have a, a Gen Xer and anybody younger than a Gen Xer, you, you run the risk of having this awkwardness at uh, your every encounter. Basically, we came in, you know, he, he said hello, came in, I do what I always do, which is come in with a handshake, he comes in with the fist bump, and we do this, and I go, oh crap, and I go to this, and he goes to this, and we... <laughs> We did that two or three times. I think I ended up just kind of <laughs> grabbing his fist and saying, I will figure that out. But, uh, yeah. Uh, if you're Gen X, fist bump was not really a thing when I was a kid. That was something new uh, since then. We were taught, you know, you go in. Um, and it was also, it was stressed. You know, a good handshake was important. You had to come in confident and right firmness and everything. It kind of told the person immediately who you were, you know, what kind of person you were. So... It's hard for me to go with the fist bump, at least right off the bat. <laughs> so it was a little awkward, but it was fun. So Richard, it was really good. Thank you for coming up to me and uh, and saying hi. Um, so I guess I'll call it there. Uh, 1749. It's under 20 minutes so far, so pretty good for me. So yeah, just another little perk that uh, I guess when your when your encounters are short, it's something maybe subconscious that truckers do. Um, you kind of make friends in a hurry and. Uh, I'll also just throw in that, uh, you know, like I said, not lost on me that I have the channel, which makes it easier that people come. 
I would suggest if anybody's coming out here to consider doing a YouTube channel. It has been amazing. Uh, honestly, I've, I've said it before, I just did it because it looked like something fun and something that could occupy my time on the downtime. That's how it started, but it's been amazing. The uh, uh, subscribers I've got, by the way, I just crossed 800. Thank you to all the subscribers, old and new. I'm glad you're getting something out of it. Um, so we're climbing. We're doing pretty good. Um, but it's been a blessing. You know, 99% uh, of my comments are great. They're they're supportive. Um, just really friendly folks out there. And and I start every video with you know, welcome back, my friends. Welcome back. I mean it. Uh, just kind of been running with this uh, theme. Um, you know, who defines what a friendship is? You know. Uh, you've been kind to me, uh, and I'm trying to reciprocate, and I'm giving you some information. That's good enough for me. We're friends until you tell me otherwise. <laughs> so it's always welcome back, my friends. All right, I'm going to call it there and not make you watch me eat the rest of my meal. I uh, hope everybody's having a wonderful Monday, and I hope you're well. Be well. Bye-bye.